All right, guys. A rim world. So I last played this game in 2020, and I thought it was awesome. But for some reason, after a measly 50 hours or so, I decided to stop playing it. I don't remember exactly as to why. I believe I, like, quote-unquote, finished my playthrough, and I decided to call it a day. Now, there are three main DLCs available for this game. There's Royalty, Ideology, and Biotech. I figured I was gonna go ahead and give them a try, but not all three at the same time, you know? We'll start with Royalty, because it's the first one that ever came out, and supposedly it's pretty fun. I'm not exactly sure how much they really affect the game, but then again, I also don't really remember exactly how to play the game in the first place, so we're gonna have to figure that out together. Um, I decided to uninstall any mods that I have, so I don't have any mods installed whatsoever. I may install a couple, but we'll see. I just have the core game as well as royalty enabled. So the reason I'm not doing all three at the same time is first off, I'm cheap, so I didn't want to buy them all three. <laughs> and secondly, I actually googled it right before I started my stream today. And a bunch of people were saying on Reddit that if you are not super familiar with the game, if you add all three, it just adds so many mechanics that you have no clue what's going on. So we're just gonna start with one and then maybe if I feel like doing another one at some point, we may add another one. Maybe you can add it in the middle of a playthrough. I'm honestly not sure. This one sounds really good though. Typical Dutch never spent more than the bare minimum. Absolutely, yes. No, this, this does sound pretty fun to me. So fight or ally with the new Shattered Empire faction. Complete quest to earn honor and titles. Wield persona weapons with unique traits and enjoy a new album of music. All right. Anyways, without further ado, we're gonna do a new colony. And I guess we'll do Crash Landed, which is the default of the classic RimWorld experience, apparently. Okay. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to escape, or to the escape pods rather, before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. Your faction will be a quote unquote new arrival, so you start with three people. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this part. I can choose my storyteller. The AI Storyteller creates events like pirate raids, resource drops, or animal attacks. Their choices will affect the story of your colony. You can change these settings at any time. Any recommendations? I think I'm gonna go classic. Cassandra creates story events on a classic, increasing curve of challenge and tension. I think, I think that's fun. She'll push you with dangerous events. I don't really remember how to play the game, guys. I think I'm gonna go classic. Um, peaceful mode, community builder, adventure story. Experience strategy gamers on their first game of RimWorld or experienced RimWorld players who wanna have some breathing room to pursue funny or weird goals. Requiring skill to survive for the next level. I think I'm doing adventure story. Reload any time mode. You can save and load the game at any time. This is a good choice if you're still learning the game. Or commitment mode. You can only save when quitting the game. Since RimWorld is a story generator, even losing all but one person is not the end of the game. It's part of the story. Oh God. Commitment mode, I guess? It does say storyteller and playstyle can be changed anytime. So, hmm. I think I'm gonna do commitment mode, but I don't know if I can. I mean, I, okay, here's the thing, chat. My plan is to name my dudes after stream viewers. So you guys are all calling for commitment mode right now. Until I'm harvesting your organs and I'm selling you off. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're ready? <laughs> Harvest my organs, Loco. I'm good with that. <laughs> well, we do have the new low emperor emote. 
the new low emperor emote will be very handy in this game, I guess. All right, commitment mode it is. A randomized seed. Globe coverage? I have no idea. Reset all. Um, my seed is gonna be low emperor. All right, um, I can add factions. So I think the Shattered Empire is the one from the DLC. These people, the Civil Outlander Union, have lived here for decades or centuries and have lost most of the technology that brought them to this world. They usually work with simple machinery and defend themselves with advanced gunpowder weapons. Should I change the amount of, like, factions here? I don't know. Yeah, I think for a first run we should probably... So I have played this game in the past, just to clarify, I have played this game in the past, but I, I don't really remember the specifics. There's a learning helper. Nah, that looks like a lot of reading. I don't want to read. Yeah, default should be good, I guess. Okay. Generating world. Select your starting site. Uh... Blue comma? Temperate forest? Oh, I can zoom in. Uh, is there something I should be looking for? Hostile minus 80. Minus 80 sounds good. But I don't know if I need hostility, you know? Select something that's mountainous, but not too much. How do I know if something's mountainous? This is a desert. Oh, these are deserts. Okay, boreal forest? What's this? Minus 100 hostility. It's a base of one of the factions, okay. Does it really matter where I start? Oh, I can select the cell specifically. Oh, these are settlements that are already done. I see. Trading here requires the title Knight or Dame. Movement difficulty? Temperate forest over here. Okay. Oh, those are settlements. I see. So the royal titles, I think, are from the thing. Murder's Valley. That does not sound like a very nice place, I'll be honest with you. Uh, what about... Is this a mountain? Is this a mountain? No, that's a forest. So these are difficult to move through. What's this? This is a forest too. Temperate forest? It's a lot of forest going on. There's some mountains over here. Flat white tooth. Yeah, there's different difficulties it seems like. I'm not exactly sure. I think we're just gonna pick somewhere in the middle. Maybe it's not a good plan, I don't know. So there's a couple different hideouts over here. Neutral, minus 80. What does minus 80 mean? Does that mean they are hostile? Or does, like, it says hostile over here, but like... That means they're very hostile? Okay. That's my current relationship with them? I see, I see. There's a tundra? I'd suggest you pick a green area, Loco. Okay. I want to kind of chill with an area where most people are not super angry at me. So these are minus 100. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Okay, there's a bunch of neutral dudes over here. Latuna, Oxyopolis, and Squino. We'll do a mountainous, I guess? There's a little bit of mountain over here where I'm currently clicked. These guys are also pretty chill. Yeah, I'm gonna go somewhere over here. 
average temperature of 2.9 degrees Celsius. That's a little chilly, but I guess we can work with it. Okay, I like this spot right over here. The Boreal Forest. Oh, fuck. I, I mean fudge, sorry. I was somewhere over here. <laughs> um, small hills. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Although small hills as a Dutchman do make me a little uncomfortable. Maybe I should go with flat. I'm gonna go with flat. Okay, so we're basically angry at everybody right from the start, except for a few people. Next. Oh, they already have titles. Oh, I see. Luxembourg. Oh, not necessarily. I can change them. So how am I going to decide who gets to do what, guys? What's up, Agaring? How do I decide what name is gonna... I think I just roll it, right? Yeah, I think I just roll the die. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I should name my mods first. All hail Randy, Lord of Rimworld. Rimworld. Thank you very much, Garing. Hmm. <laughs> this guy has all kinds of issues. I don't really want people with a lot of health com the health issues, man. I feel like that's going to be a problem. All right. Nice. Hey, 69 months. Nice. Thank you very much, Quant. Thank you very much, Quant. All right. Um, this will be my first character. I will just change their middle name, I think. This is displayed at all time. Nadine Massey, also known as Agaring. Welcome, Agaring. You're a 41-year-old female. You're also a misogynist. You really dislike and distrust women. <laughs> that's weird, because you're a woman yourself, but that's okay. It's kind of true. Okay, well, um... You were a child spy as a child. Children are presumed innocent, which makes them excellent spies. Agaring was trained in the art of infiltration when she was just a small child. Plus four social, minus two intellectual. Agaring lived in the forest near a village, though many of the villagers feared her. Sick villagers would come to her to purchase salves and poultices made from the herb she grew in her garden. She was happy to help them for a price. Loves plants, loves animals, loves medical. Very low melee stats. <laughs> this guy is called German. I love the hairdo, I'm not gonna lie. Adulthood policeman. Okay, so we have somebody here for combat. A Garing is gonna be for our plants and for our animals. I think that's a good idea. Your your parents were doctors? Well, there you go. You did intel uh, intelligence work in the army? So you basically were a child spy, is what you're saying. Alright, welcome to the party. A ramble. You are a 41-year-old male. Rambo's mother was often ill, and it fell to him to run the store, which was their only source of income. He learned a little about the exotic artifacts which he sold, and a lot about the art of the deal. Well, Rambo does have a very high social score. I don't know about that one, actually. Anyways, Rambo kept the peace as a line officer in a municipal okay, police force. He was trained in de-escalation, physical control, shooting, and other police skills. All right. I don't know what the 65 means over here. Chronological age is sick. Oh, your chronological age is different from your biological age. I see. 
So a Garing is actually 123 years old. It's really useful to have a high social character at the start. Okay. So Ramble is going to be our social character who also can murder the hell out of anybody who turns out to be a problem. Okay. I think that's perfect. Um, a Garing can do some plant growing, which may be helpful, although I don't really know how that works. He can do some cooking as well. Now I guess we just need somebody who can do research. Is that a good idea? Um, what what do I what am I looking for? Crafting? Wasn't there like a lot of research that you have to do? Construction would be good. Okay. I'm looking at the constructions to, uh, construction tab. Why does everybody suck at constructing? Holy crap. Okay, four. I think the two flames indicate that they love it, right? Medieval slave? Okay, weird, but... I think this would do the trick. I think it's not too bad. Um, memory. Welcome. Welcome to the party. You are uh, a 15-year-old female, apparently. You grew up pulling carts and digging holes on a medieval world. Simple manual labor is her oldest companion, along with the master's lash. Oh, jeez. She didn't learn to read until age nine. <laughs> You're also a pessimist. Memory tends to look on the bad side of life. Permanent mood effect, minus six. That sounds pretty bad, actually. There's also a bite scar on your left leg. That's okay. We all have some scars. That's all right. Sounds about accurate. All right. We have also left some people behind. A coma child, a novelist, a musical kid, and a medieval lady. What a strange combination. You want to be the coma child who's left behind? All right, Blade. You're left behind, so you're never gonna come and uh, hang out anymore. You are out of the party. You're neurotic, gay, and a night owl. Yeah, you're left behind. So we are crash landing on a planet, and you're left behind. <laughs> Great. It's a story generator, not a skill test. All right. The three of you awake in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. I don't remember how to play this at all. There you guys are. Wait, you have a dog. A female husky. Okay. Um, I should probably pause the game, right? You have more colonists than you have colonist beds. Someone will lack a place to sleep. Okay. Our hunter lacks a weapon. We need recreation variety. Okay, so what should my first thing to be? Uh, we, we can name the dog, sure. I can name the dog. Although I don't know how. That's rough, man. Um, I don't know how to rename the dog. Aww, a Garing has the dog. It's under training? Ah! Blade, you get to be the dog instead. Yeah, I feel like you really wanted to be part of the crew. I mean, having you be the dead gay guy on the ship is just kind of rough, man. I, I feel like that was a bit, a bit mean. So you get to be the dog instead. You got to be the best character. Plus, if we really need it, 
You always still carry some leather. Plus, I could sell you for 250 bucks. Yeah. Slightly unlucky? No, dude. Being a dog sounds pretty OP. Okay, so what should I do in the, at the start of this game, guys? I don't remember. I have no idea. I need to make bets. How do I do... Oh yeah, I forgot about a Garing hating women. I forgot about that part. Um, I should build a home? We can chop wood? Alright, we can chop some wood over here. Should I be uh, thinking about where I place my home or do I just randomly put it down? So this is where we are. Oh yeah, I had a bear in my first playthrough that just somehow survived everything. I think I'm gonna make my um, my first settlement right over here. Yeah, we'll clean up whatever we can over here, I think. And I'll have to like make some beds somehow. So we'll make this our... Uh... There's some columns over here. I think it's okay. You're gonna be the most effective dog ever? Okay. I'm a little afraid about that part, but fair enough. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'll just try to create some sort of enclosed space. I don't know if that's a great plan, but I think it's better than being out in the open. So, we cut down some trees and we make a little home for ourselves. I want to have a door over here. And just make that wall. Free table? Yeah, I don't know what we do with the table. But, we'll figure that out. I guess I'll unpause. Get to work, guys. Memory? Come on. Memory is already not doing anything. Very annoying. I think I'm gonna save it over here, because there's a- Oh wait, I can't, obviously. <laughs> I forgot about that. I set it up in such a way that I have to live with my consequences. Mm -mm -mm. I think I can make some beds. Yeah, we'll make some beds. There you go. Look at the garing, dude. Already hard at work. Should I um, repair these columns somehow? I hope so. Check out the work tab and the schedule tab. There's the work tab over here. Um, so I would definitely like Ramble to do something, you know? Just anything in general. Because he's kind of wasting away right now. Crafting, I guess? He also kind of likes smithing and tailoring, so we'll set that up. Hunting, a Garing can do. Constructing, memory can do. I'll just set everything up that you guys have like any sort of love for. You're all allowed to, uh, all allowed to bed rest though. Oh, I can make everything priority one million. I gotta be very careful with my priority situation. Okay. So, higher priority? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, the number one means very high priority. So, I want to basically turn what you guys love doing into, like, your highest priorities. So whenever there's like a little flame, I think that basically means they enjoy that in particular. Nobody enjoys cooking in our party. Okay. Ramble, what are you doing, mate? He's vomiting? Okay, maybe this is just something he does.
bit weird, but he just vomited into the river. The scheduling tab. No, you guys, you guys can just do the default schedule. I think that'll be okay. You guys all get like six hours of sleep. That'll be more than enough. I don't regularly vomit personally, but... We have a coffin? Oh yeah, we have a steel sarcophagus. Very handy. We like to uh, keep our dead people uh, to ourselves. We like to keep them indoors. Don't judge, man. A gang over here cutting down a bunch of trees. Okay. Um, can you guys collect all of this stuff? How do I collect all of the stuff again? I don't remember. I have all these items just laying on the floor. Allow? Yeah, yeah. You guys are allowed to do all of that stuff. Go ahead. Mark items as not forbidden. Columnists will be able to interact with the designated items. Okay. Yeah, I need to get some sort of storage built. This is gonna take a while to get back into, guys. It's gonna be very confusing. An animal flap? No, no, no. Blade just uses the door. Look at that. He's well trained. Can you claim the walls and other objects inside the house? Do I want to claim everything? I guess I should probably claim all the things over here. Uh, claim. Yeah, we claim all the stuff. This is all ours. Alright. I think that also makes them... Memory, what are you doing? You're watching clouds? Oh, I thought we had a roof. <laughs> we have no roof. Memory is watching clouds from indoors. Bit of a problem. Oh, this is also a sarcophagus. It's part of the... Okay. Hold up right now. Um, I would like to... Yeah, yeah, we copy this. We make that a little larger than it originally was. Okay. So I have to make a little place for stockpiling junk. So I'm assuming that's under... Furniture? Dude, we have loads of stuff. Oh, build roof. Yeah, we want to build a roof. Is that expensive? Just build the roof. Might get kind of pricey, I don't know. Just go ahead and build that at some point. Oh, a stockpile zone. Ah, I think I just zone in a little part of this base to throw our junk. Go ahead. Throw our junk over there. Alright. Good. Yo, Ricochet, what's up? Thank you very much. So I accidentally used one of the sarcophagi right over here as part of the wall. I did not quite mean to do that, but... I think I also kind of want to make this building square at some point, but not really a top priority, I guess. Um, I don't know where we can see the time of day. Oh, it's 1600 hours at the moment, okay. Animal flap. 
What else do we need, guys? The hunter likes a weapon, and we need recreation? I don't have any recreation, but I can make a little, um, I don't know. A chess table. If you guys want to chill over here, that works for me. I will also put down a couple stools over here. I guess we're gonna have to set up some more trees. So go ahead, cut down some more trees. Tables and chairs, your boys will be sad without it. Dude, look at the Rambo over here, just running around with his blade out. Oh no, he was carrying silver. Oh wait, no, 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 here it is. He's got a knife, yeah. So my hunter Lex a ranged weapon. Ramble, I would like you to have some gear. Although I don't know, ah, here we go. This thing, yeah, yeah, this thing has to be picked up by Ramble. How do I do that? Ramble is a maniac with a gun. Gear? I don't know how to... Ah, here we go. Go ahead, lad. If you could also maybe, um... Yeah, wear that uh, so we don't have to see that ugly, uh, you know, haircut of yours. There's also a, f a vest. Go ahead, please wear that too. Come on, wear it. What are you doing? Why are you... Oh, you had to move to the... Okay. Yeah, get kitted out, mate. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead, wear those pants. And then I also want you... A Garing, I guess. I want you to go ahead and equip the revolver. You know how to shoot a revolver, a Garing? I think we should be good. I can order? Ah, here we go. Are you changing pants in the middle of no... Okay. A Garing has got his pistol equipped. That'll come in very handy. You used to be a firearms instructor? Perfect. Look at a Garing and Ramble already bonding. What a beautiful day. Memory hard at work making the chess set. Okay, guys, we're off to a flying start. I don't really see anything that could have gone possibly better than this. Do we need some sort of uh, fire or something like that? So it's 2100 hours. It's 16 degrees outside. It is a little chilly. I don't think it's gonna be a very cold night, but it should be okay. Uh, backseat rules in general, don't be obnoxious, yeah. Aw, uh, it's our first night. Ramble was the first one in bed. A Garing still at work. Classic. Always the first to leave the office. It's okay. 16 degrees Celsius? That's like 65 degrees Fahrenheit-ish. Something like that, I think? I don't know. It is Friday, yeah. It was casual Friday too, as you can tell by Rumble's haircut. I did see the Frostpunk 2 trailer, absolutely. Yeah, it looked good. It looked very dramatic. Oh, I thought these were little hands. These symbols here at the bottom of the screen. This looked like, cut off the hand, this looked like, yeah, okay, scissor it off instead? Not quite. Can we slaughter, um, blade? Just for science? I think we can, but I won't, I won't. Just saying, you know? Damn. He just chills outside. Release to the wild? No. Follow master while drafted? No, 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 no. There's a prison architect too? This is the first time I hear of that. I really like that game. Maybe that's why I stopped playing RimWorld actually. 
Oh yeah, Paradox apparently announced Prison Architect 2. Release date in March. Oh shit, okay. I did not realize that part. Yeah, I'll almost definitely play that. 26th of March. Cool, I'll play that. It's in 3D this time around. The graphics of the original Prison Architect kind of looked like RimWorld. Okay, so I gotta allow these things as well, I guess, right? So that's hotkey U. I should probably learn some of these hotkeys. And we'll zone a little bit more stockpiling here. Are they gonna haul all of this junk indoors? I guess they will, right? Man, you guys sleep for a long time. Oh, wait, what? Is it the other way around? This game borrowed the graphics from Prison Architect? Okay. Yeah, it's one in the morning. They, uh, they enjoy sleeping one in the morning, apparently. They're a bit lazy, but we'll allow it. Not real gamers, anyways. A noble apparel. Drug production. How does this work? Artificial metabolism? I don't know what my goal is, by the way. I think overall your goal is probably to try and get off of this planet. That's probably what we should be aiming for. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I can speed up the game if I want to. I can make Ramble memory and Agaring sleep faster, but that's okay. We have a bunch of stuff to look at. Rambo gets up at three in the morning? What the hell, Rambo? That is very unrealistic, yeah. Oh, he, he gets up to eat. Yeah, okay, I see how it is. This man is uh, up for some nighttime snacks. Low jam, low jam. Yeah, tricky, cheeky 3 a.m. snack. I see how it is when nobody else knows. Rating the little bit of food that we've got. You're just stealing some rations. Yeah, <laughs> he's actually going back to bed. What the hell? Thank you, Micro Junior. Appreciate it. That is a little mean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, for science, I would like to see a Garing, right? He's flexing that he was a gun instructor. I would like to see him shoot the bunny. I don't know if Bunny Warren's here. He's gonna be very disappointed when I find out, but it was either the husky or the bunny, okay? I don't know how to, um... He's a productive sleepwalker. He ate! There's no way. Um, let's see. So I think I have to set up an order for slaughtering. Must designate tame animal that belongs to the... Oh, hunting. Oh, first shot was a miss. Second shot, also a miss. All right, Gary. Sick job, man. We can really tell that you were an instructor. I'm a little embarrassed for you right now, dude. Because those shots were way off. Look at him. Do I have a certain amount of bullets? I think I do. Cancel that. A Garing. Getting cancelled as well. Rambo, by the way, is still asleep. So this guy literally woke up in the middle of the night to go and grab a little snack. And then he decided to get back. There's unlimited bullets? Okay. Just like in real life. I can harvest a couple of these plants, at least. Um, so what should I be doing, guys? I don't know what my priority should be.
Wood? I can make a wooden floor indoors. Don't know if that's a great plan, but... Yeah, I don't think it's really super important, right? What am I gonna do for food? So I can harvest the berries for now. Oh, there's loads of animals around. Muffaloes, hares, squirrels, rats. An arctic wolf? Holy crap, dude, look at that thing. We should probably do a little bit of, uh, yeah, crop growing. Um, who was it again that liked growing crops? A Garing. This man loves plants. Growing zone. Create a zone where your colonists will try to grow a certain kind of plant. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do that in soil. Plant. Corn, haygrass, potato, rice. I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as you guys are eating something. Yeah, what what should I what should I be growing? Rice is the best for now? Okay. Memory is fixing up the coffin. Always important to get your sarcophagus ready. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing if you have to start worrying about your sarcophagus after you've died, you know? It's not really what we want. Okay. So I could do a little bit of everything, I guess. I will do some um, potatoes as well. And then maybe a little bit of corn? Is that a good idea? That's just to make Rushy happy. Rushy will probably join the stream in a little bit, you know? He tends to join the stream around this time of the day. Usually he says, hello chat, hello loco in the chat. And then, um, you know, he'll be happy to know if I've made some... ...dedicated corn. I did see that, Jeffrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I kind of want to square off my, my building a little bit. I don't really like the way it's currently set up. Okay, so this is about enough tiles. I don't know exactly how much this is, but that should be quite a bit. Dutchman really engro uh, enjoys growing herbs over here. I'm just saying. Carrying his revolver, hating women. What else is there to love, uh, Garing? Living the life. Ten tiles for one colonist for a 30 day growing period biome. Okay. Are you still alive? Of course. I could click this button. Please let me get addicted to cocaine. Bro, we're leaving a very tame schedule so far, okay? What are you talking about? We're not doing any organ harvesting. We're not doing any cocaine. All of that is unnecessary. Jeez, bro. We're just trying to make some wools. Okay. So this is our, oh, this is our home area. No, no, no. I want to have a, um, yeah, stockpile zone is going to be over here. Stockpile zone, stockpile zone. We have some, um, a butcher table might be handy. I don't know about that. A nutrient paste dispenser. Ooh, that sounds lovely. A machine that synthesizes edible nutrient paste. Ooh, bro. I've never heard something more tasty in my life. I love nutrient paste. A simple research bench. I think I'm gonna set something like that up as well. Yeah, we'll put that in the corner.
I should put down a butchering table for our husky. Uh, I don't know about that one, man. Blade is gonna be our... Dude, let's be real. If we have to rely on a Garing shooting skills like he just showed us earlier, I believe more in Blade for our own defense. I feel like a husky is a, is a powerful animal. I was not impressed right there by a Garing at all. Like he was talking about how he did an amazing job and he was a shooting instructor and blah blah blah. But ultimately, he missed. Against this particular hair. Look at this guy. Let me see. I can I kinda wanna um, I wanna take a Garing off of his hunting. Let's see if Ramble can do a better job. Ramble, go! If you miss once, bro. Oh, he's got his gun out. Here we go, here we go. He's ready. If you miss once, Ramble. What are you doing, Ramble? He's right up. Why are you so f You hit the size of our house. You hit a Garing, bro. Oh! It's okay. A Garing, like, he would have missed too. It's okay. Okay, you guys all suck at hunting. Oh, Garing is back on the job. He's equally bad. Oh, maybe a Ramble can do it. Bro, just just stop. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm a little surprised you you picked a female husky to have as your companion, a Garing. <laughs> Are you playing chess with yourself? That's a little pathetic. I mean, I understand that that is something people do. But you have to be of a certain level, you know? Like, you have to be- yeah, that's next level nerd. Absolutely. It's okay, Agaring. He plays chess by himself in the dark. Speaking of which, I should probably figure out a way to get some light. A torch lamp? Can be automatically refueled with wood. Produces a small amount of heat. Do you guys want dark beds or like what do you guys need? Do they like dark beds? Because I personally don't like it when there's a lot of light in my bedroom. No, they don't care about lights on bits? Okay. Uh, there will be a notification at some point, I guess. Agaring is back on the job after quickly playing a round of chess with himself. Oh, Ramble, waving at memory. Memory waves, waves back at Ramble. Dude, this is- everybody's getting along really well. I'm kind of impressed, really. I did not expect this would work out at all. So far, everything's great. Yeah. Now, who will rise to the throne? That's the real question. I guess I'll speed up the game a little bit. I usually tend to set up too many assignments in games like this, so I gotta chill. I make everything priority one million. Yeah, I may want to make some some chairs around this table. Yeah, you guys can gather over here. Can I set up some chairs over here? Some dining chairs? Do I need to... Does it matter if I like... Oh yeah, yeah, I can rotate them. Perfect. You guys love gathering around? I guess I also need a chair over here. Yeah, tomorrow is chair day. It's an exciting moment. It's the 1st of April, May. <laughs> Juggest, September, and december -y. Okay, so we're currently in springtime. 
What do I need to do to heat up the place, guys? I don't know. Let's see. So if electricity, or, or sorry, if power or, or heating is my biggest problem, I think I need some sort of heating, right? Yeah. Um... Smooth surface. I can paint the building. I don't think I need to do any of that. So what do I do... ...to get... ...stuff, just in general? A workbench for tailoring clothes, electric stove? A fueled stove. Do I need a stove? Build campfire inside of the house. Don't forget to open the windows too so the smoke will not stay inside. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a... a fueled stove. I don't know if I need it though, but... Outdoors? Bad temperature? Do I need to somehow get the air out or is it okay? Thank you very much, by the way, Figaro, for the 300 bits. Appreciate it. No, 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 this is for cooking. Yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. No, this is besides what I was talking about earlier. An art bench. I don't think we need that. What about an electric crematorium, guys? How do we feel about the crematorium? Should I be focusing on that? 